Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk. So I'm doing another installment of my first video. And so this week we're going to do my first pair Ubu video. And so um, the story here is that um, I'm finding my notes here that I wrote up. So uh, pair Ubu, uh, a Cleveland-based band, started off in probably mid to late 70s. Uh, this is their fifth album called Song of the Bailing Man from 1982. Uh, the way I got it, I got it as VCLT from TARDIS Rider. I believe he had a radio station's copy of it because it seems to have their uh, call letters uh, on the jacket and on the label of the actual disc. And so they were sort of described as being avant garage, art punk, etc. Um, and so you've got some pretty post-punky angular guitars, but then you'll have like piano, keyboards, uh, different sorts of percussion, trumpet, uh, stuff all over the place. Bits of it will sound almost free jazzy in a sense. Uh, lots of it sounds uh, sort of on the artsy side of punk. Um, and so even though this is a radio station's copy, um, back when 1982, when this first came out, I was not aware of them at the time period. My straightforward small town mainstream FM rock station would never have played this. It certainly doesn't sound enough like Foreigner. And the story with Peru Boo is that I've heard their name through the years. There's somebody I've never really gone back to investigate. And then this, this record came to me in the mail. Thank you, TARDIS. Um, so I'm going to do it. Um, doing some research on them, the only constant over the years is uh, David Thomas as the vocalist, writes the lyrics, um, and I'm not, I'm not sure if he writes the music as well or not, I, I don't remember looking that up. Particular lineup on this album, a guy named Mayo Thompson on guitar, Tony Maimone or Maimoni on bass, Alan R Raverstein on keyboards, uh, you'll have some There'll be some synthy parts as well. Anton Fear on drums. This was the only album he appeared on. Uh, the group broke up after this record and stayed broken up for a number of years. They have gotten back together. David Thomas has been the only constant over the years. Oh, and this happens to be on Ref Trade Records. And even though it's a standard 12-inch size record and a full-length album is 45 RPM rather than 33. Um, so let's talk about the songs. Uh, so side one, you start off with Long Walk Home. Pretty distinctive lyrics and singing by David Thomas. Um, the uh, lyrics like the lay of the land is like a frying pan. The orchestrations of biochemistry are eloquent. Um, so you can see that this is not your standard I want to hold your hand kind of lyrics. Piano breaks in, a little discordant uh, sounding. Uh, second song, Use of a Dog, so there's trumpet in this song. Uh, parts of it almost sound like Klaus Nomi, although David Thomas is, can't get his voice as high as Klaus Nomi can. Lyrics like, who would query the use of a dog? Then the song, Petrified. Here's a lyric I like. Not so many years before, these old rocks were the bones of the Halaplokens the sore which I probably just butchered the name of that particular dinosaur that David Thomas got right. Uh, some of the synths in this song are a bit Devo-y. Stormy Weather has ominous keyboards. So it's okay, Stormy Weather. Seems like sort of like the scene from an artsy horror movie. It's good for ducks. Don't complain when the rain comes. Then there's a song called West Side Story, which is not at all reminiscent of the musical of the same name. I do like the bass lines in this song, and this song kind of continues sort of the themes of confusion and melancholy that permeate this record. Thoughts that go by steam. Uh, I feel like I'm on the steamship disappearing into the fog, bound for somewhere really weird tooting horns. Tooting horns was a lyric of it. And then side two, there's a song called Bid, Bid Ed's Used Farms. Kind of a crazy sing-songy in a twisted way with uh, so, sort of repeating bip bop bip bo why de ho um, they don't mention big ed or farms in the lyrics so not sure where the name comes from then the longest song on the record a day such as this over seven minutes it's pretty cool percussion drums and marimba 
lyrics like where are the thoughts that swing from the trees and some will say a best man's best friend is hyperbole not a dog but a hyperbole the vulgar boatman bird um not to be confused with a band called the vulgar boatman maybe we'll talk about them some other week uh lyrics like there's a song um so there's a sound throughout, this is not a lyric, but there's a sound throughout the song that sort of sounds like, so I live near a lake and in the summer you hear crickets and frogs along the shore at night. And there's sort of that in the background of this song. But there is a lyric, who would know where the vulgar boatman goes? Uh, a very short song called My Hat, it's only about a minute, minute and a half long. Some sh hats are shaped like Oklahoma, some hats are shaped like this Zweeter Z, Zweeter Z however the Dutch say it. The final song is called Horns Are a Dilemma. The, this starts off with the vocals mixed super low, a rumbling bass, angular guitar kind of biting through, lyrics like square pegs, round holes, round pins, square holes. And then the music gets more upbeat, there's the trumpet comes in, but then the rumbling bass returns. So you've got like very, almost like two different songs are like colliding together. And so... Um, so Per Ubu, um, it was fun really checking them out for the first time. I knew they were a quirky band by reputation. Um, and so, and I don't know, I think a couple of their albums before this are probably the ones that are probably more the ones that you would be recommended by a Per Ubu fan. But I had Song of the Bailing Man from 1982. And the hint for next week is Robert's on my turntable. 